It's been six months of traveling. I visited Mexico, Colombia, and France. I cannot deny that this trip changed me a lot. I met some new friends and reunited with my old ones. I fell in love and went through a breakdown. I was left out with no money and almost went to Europe to get a political refugee. I lost myself in joy and parties. I spent some days alone feeling absolutely lonely. I cut my hair and got four tattoos. Eventually I thought I will never come back home. But here I am and that's my story. I want to share with you lessons I learned from this six month trip and which I wish I knew earlier. Many times during this trip I felt that I don't know how to get out of a certain situation. I was laying down in the hostel with no friends and money, completely sick, not even having energy to get food for myself. I ended up in the middle of nowhere with no cash, no internet, and no speaking skills of local language. At those moments I just felt very anxious and scared of this uncertainty. It seemed I will not be able to handle it. But what I realized later, that whatever you feel like there is no solution. The situation might be very difficult sometimes, but there is always a way out, and you will not be stuck in this situation forever. Instead of freaking out, just relax and think. It will definitely help you to find a solution faster. Remember it, everything will pass. It was my first solo trip. I was planning it for one month but ended up six months away. My backpack was overloaded and I realized it on the first week. My friend helped me to get rid of many clothes, which I initially felt pity to leave. Later on I left at least one piece of clothes in each hostel. I left shoes and books as well. I exchanged some clothes and stopped feeling any attachment to material stuff. The less things you have, the more valuable they are. Being surrounded by a lot of people doesn't mean that you're happy. Being in a relationship doesn't mean that you're in love. Sometimes people feel so bad being alone that they look for anybody to fulfill them. The truth is, you will never run away from yourself. If you feel desperate or depressed, you're the only one who can change it. Or there are always specialists who can help you with it. I had an awful breakdown during my trip. Instead of handling it, I went to the parties every second day with a lot of people drinking and smoking. For two weeks I thought things got better, but they didn't. I just ran away from them for a short time. And then, staying alone in my room, in the silence, I finally felt all the emotions I tried to hide. It took a long time to process them, but it absolutely worth it. Exploring and trying new things are the essentials of traveling. It is much easier since everything is new for you. But what about exploring during your daily life? When was the last time you tried to learn new skills or get a new hobby? This time I learned how to dance salsa and bachata. How to make guacamole and tortillas. I learned a bit of Spanish, started to meditate and tried couch surfing for the first time. I brought this mindset back home. There is so much to explore around even if you think your life cannot be more than just a simple routine. During this trip, a global thing happened in the world. My country started a war. I don't mean to discuss it, but it absolutely turned my plans and trip upside down. People were spreading information, then other countries started to hate my nationality and don't accept us anymore. 
All I can say about it that I had an incredibly supportive environment at that time. To be more specific, I got a lot of messages from my friends who were ready to accept me at their houses or support me financially. Some people just let me know that they're always here to talk. If there are some bad people in the world, be sure there are much more good people. If you're surrounded by toxic and negative people, then you should probably question yourself first. Why do you attract those people? And how you can change your environment?